big part of my life because I've built such a big family. Whatever is like going on at school or at like at home, whatever, it's just like I can always come here. It's like something constant in my life. It's really fun for me to like learn new things, I guess. That's why I want to like come here every day. It has really helped me like open up to be like someone different than who I was before. It's just been a, a nice ride. <laughs> I started when I was around three. 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 Probably like three or four. I was four. Six or seven. When I was seven. Eight, I think. Probably like eight or nine. I was nine. Pretty late when I was 11. I remember walking in and thinking it was so big. And like, I remember when I was in level two or something, I saw people in level three. Um, and they were like doing stuff and I was like, whoa. And then I got on their level and I was like friends with them and I thought it was really cool because like I never thought I'd be able to do the same thing as them. I actually remember this because I, I had like a journal or whatever in class and I made a journal entry the day after my first practice. We did have a lot of like girls who were in higher levels and just seeing them was like so incredible. I remember like specifically like one memory of looking at this one girl and being and I was like wow one day I want to be like competing like her and like doing stuff like that. Oh I just loved it because I don't know I was so little I just thought it was fun to like run around and I definitely looked up to the team girls and then now that I am the team girl like I try to set a good impression for everyone else. At first I, I was I don't know I thought it was super cool how people like would flip and like move their bodies like that. And I think it was like you and Angelie that I just like looked at. I was like, wow, that's really cool. Oh. <laughs> I think some people think that it's like uh, that we're all just like kind of daredevils and that we're like the cra we do crazy things so we all just like do them, but like actually a lot of us like we want to do those crazy things and we love them, but we are scared of them and it does take a while for us to like get over doing something for the first time. Some people think it's easy because they see like the dance and the artistic side of it and they like focus on that, which takes away from uh, like how much strength that we put into and like the effort and power that we need to have to do everything. It looks so much easier than it actually is because part of the sport is like trying to make it look effortless and like pretty but if you see us fail it does not look very pretty three two one the front down all right lift two three and hold five step out Let's go to the end of our beat we're gonna go to block so you can get the skills oh extra high kicks from natalia Let's point knees to straight hit I'm thinking okay, 20 so no, turns with the arms up and 20. What's really hard is that when they see videos and stuff, everyone looks so powerful and so amazing. But in reality, that takes so much work and to even look like that, like everything has to be perfect, you know? It uses like every single muscle in your body. I don't think there's another sport that uses so much mental um, strength because there's skills that you know, if you think about it, you're throwing yourself into the air backwards, blindsided, but you know, you're not really supposed to do that to yourself, but in gymnastics, you do that anyway. So there's so much struggle that goes into that that people just don't know about.
good, guys. So coming back from an injury, you have to, most of the time when we do like fall off the beam for like a back handspring or something, our coaches always tell us to get up and do another one just so that we feel much better about it. And, leave, and we leave off of a better note. So like bouncing off of an injury can be really scary sometimes because like how you think about the skill or the event. When you're gone for so long or when you're injured, you forget how to do things. You need to feel what it feels like to be back. And if something goes wrong, you feel like more things can go wrong. And once your mentality is down like that, then you kind of second guess everything and everything becomes harder. The hardest part about gymnastics, there are two things that I think people aren't aware of. One, just how demanding the sport is mentally, like time-wise, like very few sports do you have to practice the number of hours a week, the amount of like days a week as you do in gymnastics. Um, and then how like common it is to like practice injured, right? Like. In other sports, if you like roll an ankle, it's like, oh, okay, like just sit out, it's fine. But with like gymnastics, it's like, you don't have that time to waste. I had a coach who would tell me for every day that you miss, it takes two days to get back to where you were before you left. Injuries can cause a lot of mental blocks. And so not only is your body like, so like confused on like why, like, <laughs> you're like working out again but like you get really really sore and then like also like mentally you have to like regain all that confidence you had like when you were perfectly like normal or healthy yeah it's a long journey you can't just like bounce back like that like it takes time i've had blocks mental blocks on front walkovers on beam back walkovers on beam i'm just like telling myself like i can do this i've done this a thousand times but my body just won't do it for me I play like weird games in my head where it's like, if you don't make this, then you're not going to do well in the me. And then it's like, <laughs> it's really not good. And I have to really like try to push that voice out of side of my head and just be confident. Everything about competition and practice are, is different. Everything's different. You get multiple tries in practice, right? So we'll do something five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Where in a meet, you have one shot. If you mess up, there isn't a next time until next competition. You're on a mission. You go in, do one of your routine on each event, vault you do two, and then you're done. And it, for some reason, it takes hours on hours, but. You have 10 for you. Every single like Olympic gymnast or college gymnast came from JO. The JO is 10 levels and it's a lot more like everything is very specific per each level. And the scoring is like, it's not different, but like if you do harder skills that is in your level, you get extra points for it. And Excel is more for if you want to compete, but you don't want to do like elite gymnastics or college gymnastics or any of that stuff. In Excel, there's only five levels. But um, as far as skills go, almost every Excel routine is different. Like every single person at my gym, no one has the same routine. But you don't get extra points for doing harder skills, which, is, which can be really frustrating sometimes because there are some people who compete the bare minimum and will get like really nice scores or you'll try and throw something and that's a little bit harder and you just get docked off more for it. So that's essentially the difference. Let's make it happen. Let's be great today. Hey, GC! So, beam, for people who don't know, is four inches wide. <laughs> and flipping on it is really scary because it's a blind landing and you really just have to trust yourself mentally because when you're physically there, the, the next step you have to have is being mentally there. Most of the time when I have a mental block, I feel like people are really like, frustrated or like really disappointed in me for getting one. 
but I also feel like really helpless because I don't know what I need to change. I get super frustrated and really mad at myself and like just so annoyed with myself because when you have a block in gymnastics, you know you can do it because you've done it a thousand times before on different surfaces. But sometimes your brain doesn't really um, talk with your body because your brain can think, oh, this is easy, I've done it before, like I can do it again. But when you, when you go and try to do it, either you just won't or you'll do something else and your body just won't listen. It can lower your confidence of that skill. So if you have a block, but you still get the skill for the meet, at the meet, you can still be more shaky or not as sure, and so the skill's not gonna be as good, but it's all mental, really. I sometimes forget to visualize, but when I do visualize, I think it takes the scariness out of some things, because when you see it, you're more calm, because you're like, okay, I know what that looks like and feels like. But helping other people, um, I try to comfort them and explaining to them that your body knows what to do, it's all in your brain. It's not as scary as you think. Our team is like really close to each other, so like once, when someone is feeling bad, the others pick up on it and kind of like brings everyone else down. So when you're in that situation, I would always try to like stay calm and just know that like I just need to do this like the way that I know how to do it and not make a big deal out of it because like I'm still confident in this skill. I still have this skill just because I'm like not doing so great today. It doesn't mean that it'll be bad forever. What I, why I want to show it to you so you can see them show the landing. I think that's Maroney. Mm -hmm. Two and a half. Wow. <laughs> two and a half. That's back two and a half. You don't know who that is, man. Yeah, I definitely compare myself to everyone. I feel like it's really easy to compare yourself to gymnasts. There's this mentality in gymnastics, and this is like the gymnastics era I grew up in, was like you have to be mean and you have to be like, like you just have to be mean. That's how you get the best results, right? Like you have to beat someone down and tell them they suck and tell them all these horrible things in order to get the results. And I just realized like that doesn't work. I didn't have the best experience in gymnastics. I left the sport so broken and like gymnastics had taken, I felt like it had taken like so much, sorry, I'm like getting emotional. Felt like it had taken like so much from me when I was, in high school and I was getting, started getting recruited, like parents would call college coaches and tell them all the reasons why they shouldn't recruit a kid. If a school's recruiting me, that doesn't take away from my teammate being talented. Like that's not, we're not competing for the same spot. There's so many schools all across the country. I like have this like, like weight on my chest when I think of that. Like that was just like the worst experience. And I hated that. And I hated feeling like 
if I have something to celebrate, like I can't have people celebrate those things with me. Being a teenager nowadays is so hard with like social media and everything and like all these super unrealistic beauty standards. And I think as women, we're taught to be threatened by another woman's beauty, success, all those things. And I was like, no, like you being successful and experiencing success doesn't take away from my success. Like it is not a competition. Gymnastics, you always have to have this like skinny body and it's like, you don't mean to like compare yourself, but like from the, oh my God, I was so young and I just remember being like, wow, she looks really good in that leotard. Like, why don't I look like that? Like you have to like maintain this gymnast body, which like you take outside of gym, like in your head, you're always like, I have to watch my figure, which sucks because most students are really young. You always just have to be confident in your body, which is really hard though, because you're comparing yourself to all these other females. And it's like, you're showing so much of your body all the time. So it's hard to not like pick out your body and see what you don't like. For like my preschoolers or like my level ones, I always like try to have them be really positive in themselves so that when they get older, they'll still be positive. Like I want them, like I want to put in their brain when they're young so that they'll always have that. And a lot of them like, <laughs> it's really funny. Like when they see me, like I'll demonstrate like a cartwheel or something and they'll be like, oh my God. Being like one of the older people, it's hard. It, it feels like now all my actions are really being looked at because I can see like, things that I do being copied and I'm like, ooh, maybe that's not the best. I don't want like the younger kids like taking on a manner that like, that isn't good, you know? I feel like there's definitely, you try to act more grown up and focused because the rec kids will like follow your lead. For so long I've been looking up to other people and having people look up to me, like I know what that feels like. So I want to be the best I can. We do have like our own specific like cheers for everyone. We cheer really loud at competitions and like our little nicknames, like in our last competition, someone complimented me like, oh my God, you're peanut butter Angelie, wow. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like it, it ups the atmosphere, like especially at a competition, like us yelling, it makes us feel better. And I feel like if other teams like emulated like our, our loudness, then they could, they'd have a better time as well. I do see a lot of teams that are very silent and it just feels like not necessarily that there's tension between them but like they don't they're not supporting each other. Having traditions like that is kind of like a superstition so if you don't do it something feels missing. No other team does those things so it makes us more like individual. It creates this trust and bond between the team and when you have that, the team really is so much better. The girls I met at gymnastics, they were my best friends. Like, no matter how many times I switched schools, like on like the worst days of my life, like I'd want to be at gymnastics with them. And like, they're like the best friends that I've ever had. Like, they've been there for me no matter like what. If I was having a bad day, that's where I would go. Like, that's where I wanted to be. Gym was like our little world outside of like the real world. It was kind of like our little like safety spot. I've made a lot of friends here. Like I've known all the other girls for a long time and it's really like we've bonded as like not just teammates, but like sisters and like we're family.
So do a little strength, do a little flexibility at home. Stay healthy, be safe, make correct choices, and then um, we'll let you know when we're coming back, yes? All right, can I have one good Three, two, one, next time. You're welcome. All right. Oh yeah, I snapped too. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> I remember coming to the team, like taking over the team, and I remember like seeing you guys and it was almost like you were like just like these like little ghosts like you were just like so like beat up and like not sure of yourself and not confident at all which like isn't your fault either and I just remember seeing you guys like so broken and I was like uh-uh I know what broken looks like because I'm freaking hot hot mess right now because of my experience with gymnastics so I'm not gonna let these girls leave my supervision broken um I wanted you guys to realize like the strength in community and having like people to celebrate and, and be alongside with you and hold you accountable but like with love and so that's why I was really big on cheering because one it's selflessness right gymnastics is so easy to get in your head right and you're like oh my god oh my god it's all about me it's all about me it's all about me but the minute you start to focus on your teammate it does wonders for your gymnastics that's like really why I I emphasize it so much because like the world doesn't need more mean people like that's the last thing the world needs like the world needs like kind hardworking, amazing individuals and you guys are all like just so you guys were just all so beautiful and awesome and like I just wanted you to like realize it for yourself and realize it in each other and those bonds like just don't go away because you guys built something so special you guys put the work in and built it really like I just created the map and you guys like did the work. And so that, I think that's what makes it so special is that like you proved to yourself so many amazing things as well. Like you guys did it. Like it really, I didn't do anything. Like you guys did it. You guys showed up to practice every day. You guys cheered on your teammates, you set goals, you achieved those goals. Like you did those things and like you should be so freaking proud of it. Sorry, that was long winded and I'm like getting kind of teary eyed, but I just like, and so appreciative for my time with you guys. <laughs>